Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today I'm filming my next update for my Pan That palette. Also gonna address, yes, I have my bookshelf back. I am so happy. I moved and yeah, I'm just ecstatic that I am able to have my bookshelf. It's not like completely decorated yet or anything. Um, it's just I kind of moved everything and put things where it is where they are and didn't really like decorate or um, you know, like add my touches or organize things properly either. Um, so anyways, things will be changing a little bit, but I'm just so happy to like have my background back and like this presence in my room. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's go to the painting. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and first talk about, right now I have two palettes going. I'm still working on my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. It's what I've been working on for quite this long, long time. And then my first update for my Mac quad, um, my I'll first talk about the modern renaissance and do two pictures from last month and two pictures from this month. Okay, so I officially um, finished Antique Bronze, so that meant that I brought in my MAC quad as well. And then, yeah, there's lots of progress in these matte shades. I have Pon Fresco almost almost completed just that side bit. I have warm taupe. I've completely taken out this upper corner and realer. I'm still like working on it. <laughs> the pan is definitely expanded but yeah it's still definitely being worked on. And then raw sienna yeah, still again like being worked on not really concentrating on it. Um, anytime I use Real Gear, I'm putting raw sienna like as a transition in my crease. There's like definitely not like it has the least amount of progress out of all of them. Um, but yeah, I'm still working on it. I've been doing, um, using this palette like every day for my transitions and then, um, let's see, about once a week I've been trying to do like an all matte look with these shadows. Um, so that's helping me really like get through them. Mainly what I've been doing is either having it be all of it Bon Fresco um, or all of a Real Gear, just like blown out everywhere. Um, so that shows the most progress. I think once one of these two is um, completely used up, then I'll definitely be going on to the other two shades, Raw Sienna and Warm Taupe, and doing all matte looks with those ones as well. Um, I'm thinking I want it, this to be done this month. I don't think it will, just like with the progress that's happening. I mean, there's definitely like lots of movement, but yeah, it's still pretty slow. So I'm thinking maybe two more months and then this will actually officially be done. Um, I can't wait for that day. And then I have my Mac quad. I will show pictures from last month and pictures from this month. This whole time I've been working on uh, this vanilla shade um, fairly regularly. I've been just doing it on the inner corners of uh, inner corner eye highlight. So yeah, that one's definitely still being worked on. I've kind of been, um, before I was like swirling brush, brush all around, hence the uh, very large um, pan in the middle. But now I've kind of started to aim my brush at the top corner over here um, whenever I grab it, just because it's getting like that wide stroke for like a little brush is very like um, annoying and I feel like it's getting more product than I need. So yeah, I've been aiming the brush just at the top or now bottom corner and yeah, so hopefully I'll be hitting side pan in that soon. Also what I've been doing, because I've also incorporated in my 50 project pan some single eyeshadows, I've been using this basically every, every other day um, as lid shades. So I've been using this top gold, cor uh, gold color. Um, as a lid shade every other day, and there is a nice little dip, not a ton. I haven't, I'm not like rushing to get this done. I really like these, but I also have my other project going, and I want to um, kind of incorporate it. Plus, I mean, yeah, I was thinking about like last year what I did. I know this is taking uh, the modern renaissance is taking a very long time to use up, however, thinking about it as well, I had my 18 my. 18 and 2018 project going at the same time that I started panning this and I used up three super shock shadows and a little um, trio of eyeshadow while I was also panning this so 
yeah, this and this has 14 shadows. Of course, I'm not done with it, but like, yeah. Um, I know I can like pan this definitely within a year. I don't think by the end of this year, but I'm not like rushing it because of that. Um, there's only four shadows in here and basically only three shadows in here because this one's like almost used up and I use it for a very specific reason. Um, so I think like I'm taking my time with this, um, not purposefully, but like because I want to enjoy other parts of my collection as well. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at. I'm hoping next time I'll have a bigger dip in this gold shade. I'm still going to keep using this how I'm using it. I'm really, really, really enjoying this palette. The uh, shadows that, the MAC shadows just have such this like crazy dimension to them. Um, and yeah, it's really nice. Oh, and I'm wearing this on my uh, eyes today. Um, so yeah, it's, I'm just really enjoying it. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy about it. And I always get compliments um, when I'm wearing this look that my eyeshadow like looks really nice and it just makes it, it like elevates the look and it look, makes it look like really really nice and yeah I'm really enjoying this. I've like realized why I've kept this around for so long and I'm just happy to um, really get my money's worth out of it and um, yeah I'm excited to be panning it this year for sure. Um, so anyways that's gonna be it. Sorry for the little rambly bit at the end. But yeah, that's my update, and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope your panning um, journeys are going well. Please let me know how you all are doing. I always love to hear and talk to you guys about um, how you are doing as well. Um, you get to sit and talk, listen to me talk about my stuff, so I like to hear about yours as well. Um, anyways, thank you again so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Bye.